the estimate through March 15th is that the total cost of National Guard uh, uh, support will come to $483 million. Um, $284 million of that uh, is for personnel, and $199 million of that is for operations, and that gets us uh, through March 15th. Okay. Just a couple of uh, now, he made it very clear that leaders have the discretion to tailor their discussions with their personnel as appropriate to their command, to their location, to their, to, um, to, to their operations. But that such discussions should include the importance of the oath of office uh, that service members uh, uh, take, a description of impermissible behaviors, uh, and procedures for reporting suspected or actual extremist behaviors in accordance with the DOD instruction. And the second one is whether um, the service chiefs have provided. He understands that a, a, a one-day stand down across the force isn't going to, you know, isn't going to solve everything. But it might bring to light concerns and experiences that were otherwise not aware. And he was informed by his own experience in the mid-90s about stuff that was going on in his, uh, in his command um, right underneath his nose that he didn't realize about. So part of this, a real big part of this, is, as we say in the Navy, getting down to the deck plates uh, and to try to understand uh, more how the problem, wh what exists out there uh, in the force. Manifested in, uh, in places all over the world. Uh, and I there, there's an there's a organized, uh, almost aggressive effort by some of these groups to, to pull veterans into their, into their uh, circle. Um, and so one of the discussions that, that they had was, to what degree do we really need to take a look at how, when we're getting ready to muster people out, what are, we, what are we helping them understand about what's waiting for them on the other side and who might be waiting for them on the other side? Yeah, uh, well, uh, I might as well ask a second question. Yeah. Quite it was no accident that his first call on the first day at the Pentagon uh, was uh, to the NATO Secretary General. Uh, uh, he intends to put a lot of energy uh, into revitalizing our commitments to alliances and partnerships. And it, and it, uh, it obviously that goes beyond NATO, of course, but, but, but the NATO defense ministerials coming up uh, give him a, a great opportunity to do just that.